Ähm, ich zeige euch den Weg. Weg ist er. <lacht> da oben. Ah, oh, my apologies. This heavy rain must be quite an inconvenience for you. <lacht> inside these ruins. As you can see, the place is crawling with monsters. Alrighty then. Stay back and take cover, Tiago. This could get dangerous. We'll take care of them. Great minds think alike. <laughs> I'm not about to cramp your style. Illusion shut! <laughs> Settle down! That should be the last of them. It's a good thing Tiago had the sense to stay in his hiding place or things could have gotten really hairy for him. Hey, look! That's gotta be it, right? Definitely looks like a mural. Scheint ziemlich klein zu sein. Hmm, true. Now that you mention it, most ancient murals take up a whole huge wall. This looks more like someone with a paintbrush got bored and started doodling. It does match the story he told us, though. There's a Saurian and a human. So, is that supposed to be what an ancient contract ritual looked like? Eh, whatever. We're not here to decipher it. Just photograph it. Achso, ich muss ja mit dem Ding machen. Äh. Staring into my eyes is ill advised. I can't promise you'll like what you see. Hä? Sagst du, dass wir mit der Kamera hingehen? Ah, ich komme nicht rum. Ach, von hier aus? Wow. Wäre zu einfach gewesen. Sehr genau. Wie wollte ich gerade ein äh, Baldur's Gate 3 LP? Schön, wenn es dir gefällt. Ist auch echt super Spiel. Auch. Aber ich entschuldige mich jetzt schon mal für die ganzen Ladezeiten, die ich nicht rausgeschnitten habe. <lacht> für Ladezeiten rausschneiden bin ich zu faul. You've been robbed? Oh, Ponche. And I thought my luck was bad. Oh, I put blood, sweat and tears into that. And now I've got nothing to show for it. Some gap-toothed goon stole it from me. Tiago, is this the picture you were looking for? Let me take a look. Uh, yep, that's the one. Pyro Archon above, you two are superhumans. Hey, Ponche, come and say hi to these guys. They're gonna be the new flame bearers, and they're tough as nails. Wait, are you the Traveler and Paimon? Huh? You already know each other? I don't think so. My nephew Toba's been telling everyone about you. He says you're crazy strong, super friendly, that you helped him out, and that you're gonna be our flame bearers this turn fire night. Oh, so you're Toba's uncle. Great to meet you, sir. Sounds like we've managed to make a bit of a name for ourselves. <laughs> Toba's not wrong, my friend. These two are honestly some of the nicest, most genuine people I've ever met. Everyone speaks incredibly highly of them. Seriously, if you're comfortable telling them about what happened, I guarantee you they'll sort it out in no time. 
Really? All I want is to get the fruits of my labor back. Allow me to explain. Panche is a well-known scholar within our tribe, author of the widely acclaimed book, Yupanki's Turnfire. Unfortunately, the book was stolen by a treasure hoarder a few hours ago. I spent years of my life researching that book. I visited every last ruin, interviewed every descendant of every hero in our history. On the word Malipo alone, I covered at least five different interpretations of the meaning based on accounts from different villages. It was an unparalleled masterpiece. And now it's all gone. That little goon ambushed me during my morning walk. He snatched all of my belongings, including my entire manuscript. That book was everything to him. It's like they robbed him of his soul when they took it. Look at him. Lost and listless. He's a shell of the man he was. I am but a helpless old student. If only for Toba and Tiago's sake, please help me. I beg of you. See what I mean, Panche? Now you've run into these two, your luck's about to change big time. I don't know if he's still there, but come on, I'll take you. Immer diese Schatzräuber. Soll ich sagen, scheiße, wie weit ist das weg? Hey! You. You. Thieving rat! Give me my things back! <sighs> what do you want now, you old bum? God, you're a waste of space. Prepare to get shoved butt first into a tree hollow. Versuchst du? Oh, what's this? Brought a little bodyguard with you, huh? All right. Let's see what you've got. Eat dirt, suckers! Die kleine Feige Sau. You good? Let's chase him down! Stop, please! By all the warriors, heroes, gods and kings, I can't run any longer! Was das wie bei Waden das, ey? Please, I don't have your stuff anymore. Have mercy! Oh yeah? Well, where is it then? I... I threw it away! You threw it away? The old bum's bag didn't have a single mora in it! Just a tatty old book, worn out pens and some old rags. Matthias, mega mieses Matschmasacke. Ja, die kleine Sau, Alter, wie so ein mit Schmatschmasch wait was for nothing. I was so mad, I just threw all of it away. Really the truth? Okay then, where did you throw it away? The same place you found me! Look, I swear on the Pyro Archon, it's the truth! May all my worldly possessions be turned to ash by turn fire if I'm lying! Okay, that's a pretty strong oath. What do we do now? It sounds like he's telling the truth! Yeah, but I would still like to move him, let me. Zurück in the if we can find something. Right, let's hope nobody gets to the book before we do. We'll never get it back then! Währenddessen in einer versteckten Höhle. Hä? Hey? Ach so. Although the turn fire is a heroic symbol in Hoitzatlan, it always comes with the more ominous implication of eventual tragedy. This holds true for all bearers of this ancient name in recorded history. Each one of them died of non-natural causes, as if the specter of the Turnfire was always lurking in the background. This appears to suggest the existence of some higher power that is always watching the name-bearer, examining their actions, and eventually demanding payment in return. None can escape this payment, unless, perhaps, they could honestly swear by Turnfire to never make a single mistake in their entire life. Yupanki's turn fire. 
What an incredible work on ancient name philology. I can't believe it was just lying there for me to take. Let me see, the author is... Ponche. Nice. A gentleman and a scholar. Warte mal, der kleine Penner, erzähl ich ja, jetzt weiß ich ja schon, was du mit Buch meinst. Der Penner hat das Buch jetzt. Silence, Book Muncher. The great Kahula How will suffer your drowning voice no longer. Do you truly find no joy at all in perusing such rich historical records? Ja, aber was ist denn das für Abyssfuzzi, Alter, wenn er die ganze Zeit bloß hinter Wissen her ist? Joy? What joy is there in this pointless drivel? Well, it makes a pretty shocking prediction. Every bearer of the ancient name Malipo eventually meets a grisly end. Maybe that's the price you pay for the name that means price? What? You're saying Kanichi will die a violent death? <laughs> so I'll finally get to take over his body? When? When will that glorious day arrive? The great Kahula How demands to know! Wow, you are just irredeemable, aren't you? An agent of chaos down to the core. You make us Abyss Order folks look like saints in comparison. <laughs> uh, silence, maggot! To presume that anyone compares your kind with the great Kahula How is sheer vanity. And if that day ever comes, oh, your doom will soon follow. <laughs> you don't need to lecture me about doomsday. Here's what I know, based on countless historical texts. All civilizations will be reduced to rubble by the passage of time. From ancient kingdoms, to heavenly thrones, to worlds beyond, there are no exceptions. But from the ruins of every civilization, the dust will rise and never settle, thus transcending the confines of time. That dust is what we call a civilization's spirit. And you, great Kahula How, are one such speck of dust from a bygone age. I've paid dearly for the chance to observe you up close. Now, let me take a good look at you. We'll see whether any memories of that age still remain inside you. Who? Huh? We're so sorry, Mr. Ponche, but we couldn't find your manuscript anywhere. Does that mean all of my hard work was for nothing? You gotta stay positive, Ponche. You might have lost the book, but the brains behind it are still intact. Surely you remember the main points, at least? The whole reason I worked so hard to get it finished before the Turnfire Night is because I hoped that maybe it might help us find a way through these trying times. Du meinst, du kannst das Problem mit dem Bergkönig lösen? Well, not exactly. But I thought my research might at least be a starting point. Oh, really? So what did you find out in your research? I think the key to all of this lies in the power of Malipo. Panche, you know as well as anyone that ancient names don't hold any real power. Symbolic power doesn't count. You're right, but Malipo may be a special case. Given that it first arose in the era of the first Pyro Archon, it might contain remnants of Shibalanke's power. Yeah, I remember that story. My grandpa told it to me when I was a little kid. Maybe you're the special case. Most kids stop believing in that stuff by your age. I'm not talking about childhood superstitions here. There is evidence. Like what? Like the fact that the Mountain King is still alive. Everyone attributes that to the power of the Abyss. But there's more to it than that. The key factor is that Burkina summoned the power of Malipo at the cost of his own life. If you don't believe me, then answer me this. How many other creatures can you think of who lived longer, not shorter, after being contaminated by the Abyss? Um, Traveler, different situation but similar idea. Doesn't this remind you of the Hilly? So, 
I came to the conclusion that Malipo must refer to some mysterious ritual involving a tit-for-tat exchange. It began with the first Pyro Archon, fell with the Grand Alliance, then was buried in the Night Kingdom. And now, it awaits the call of its new bearer. Hey, hey. <laughs> Sorry to interrupt, Ponche, but you seem to be getting a little overexcited. I'm sorry. I was originally planning on presenting my findings to Kanich. I'd hoped he would be attending the upcoming ceremony. Sounds to me like you dreamed up one fanciful theory to support another. Uh, Kanich, what are you doing here? I more or less finished what I was doing, so I came to have a quick catch-up. Now a good time? Kanich! I'm onto something! I haven't worked out all the details, but... but... you have to attend the Turnfire Night. Ponche here has done a lot of research on the history of the Turnfire, and thinks he might have found a way for you to solve the problem. I'll be there, Ponche. Let's go. <laughs> Was ist die Story von diesem Jan Cat Drachen? Ähm, irgendeine antike Zivilisation mit Sauriern oder so. Wir wissen noch nicht genau viel über ihn, außer dass er echt eine große Fresse hat. Und dass er ja scheinbar mit den Kindern irgendein Abkommen hat. So wie es ausschaut, um seinen Körper zu kriegen. Here will do. Hast du einen Weg gefunden, einen Garnweltriss zu beschwören? Yeah. I'd like your help giving it a trial run tomorrow. If that works, we have our plan come Turnfire Night. Sounds like you're not considering Ponche's idea. You heard him. He hasn't worked out the details yet. We need a more practical solution with concrete steps to follow. Yet. Are you saying you think he might actually be onto something? I think it's possible, based on something I know about the war 500 years ago. Burkina didn't fall to the abyss. He was killed by the Mountain King in an episode of madness. In his final moments, Burkina made the fateful decision to not fight back, and instead pass his blood and power on to the Mountain King. Maybe he thought the Mountain King was stronger than him, and more valuable to the tribe. Or maybe it was just out of loyalty to his friend. Either way, I can believe the Turnfire was involved. Whether you think his sacrifice triggered it, or his fate was sealed from the moment he took the Malipo name, it makes sense to me. How can you drop these truth bombs with such a straight face? <laughs> This is what I've gleaned from my many interactions with the Mountain King. His mind is so disordered. It took some time to piece it all together. The story Elder Trinidad told you was the more palatable version of events. The truth is even darker. The Mountain King's mind isn't just disordered. He is suffering and feels great shame. I believe he wants to be put out of his misery. What? Then... Then what should we do? Should we grant him his wish? Of course not. We should help him move to a new home. It's the only practical solution. The Mountain King is a hero to my tribe. An object of worship, even. Ending his life would be like desecrating a statue. Still, he's been the cause of multiple disasters, and we can't afford to have any more. Ugh. Practical solutions hurt Paimon's brain. Can we follow our hearts next time? <laughs> then let's break for the day. I've already found a suitable venue for tomorrow. Uh, next Tag, 8 Uhr, bitte. Was die mit ihren 8 Uhr haben, Alter? Ich glaube, 90% der, uh, der, der Wartedinger sind immer bis 8 Uhr. Das war genau ein Meter weiter. You're here. Very. Oh. So, 
the gruesome twosome come crawling back. <laughs> Here to make amends after the gross irreverence you displayed last time? <laughs> Very well. The almighty dragon lord, Kahula Howe, shall grant you the audience that you seek. Now pucker up and kiss our feet. <laughs> Kanich, didn't you say you found him a teacher? He's just as out of control as ever! Hey! No one gets to discipline the almighty Dragon Lord Kahula How! No one! Dass er das halt auch so oft sagt, macht mich wahnsinnig, Alter. Wie hältst du das nur aus? Maybe because I've never had a gentle natured companion like Paimon to compare against. It, is that a compliment? Yeah. I see what I'm missing out on now. And it's a lot. <laughs> Kanich! Oh, we could drown this measly flying ant in one droplet of spit! How dare you compare her to the almighty dragon lord, Kahula How? Oh, just wait till I possess your dead body! I will commit heinous atrocities! Tear down your legacy! Destroy your reputation! Wreak havoc on your... Oh. Traveler, Paimon, let's get down to business. Once we've opened the beastly rift, you're welcome to toss a how in there for a couple of days. With pleasure, you don't need to ask twice. <laughs> Alter, wie so verschmitzt grinst, Alter. I got my hands on this device in a trade. It's meant as bait, but it'll also stabilize the abyssal energy. <laughs> the rift towns will tear through space to get to this. Once they're here, we take them out and claim the rift for ourselves. Wie bist du dazu gekommen? You'll find out soon enough. First, let's try this out. Ist das vor dem anderen Spacko? They'll tear you to pieces given half the chance, so be careful. Locked up! You see, Kinich? I'm a man of my word. In fact, I'd say I underpromised and overdelivered. Nifty little gizmo, isn't it? I take it this is your true form? Now that our deal is complete, it's time to start the next phase of our relationship. I made a promise to the great Kahula Howe, and now I'm here to seize your body for his use. Cliché, I know. The hero's trusted partner sells him out to the Abyss in a shocking act of betrayal. Cue bad guy speech and drawn out death sequence. Huh? Angel? Huh? Huh? What are you two doing here? <laughs> oh, Mr. Kinich, this is not what we agreed on. Nee, aber andersrum auch nicht, oder? Traveler, this is the gift I got you. I know you're looking for intel on the Abyss Order, so I thought he might be of use to you. <laughs> but it looks like you've already met. Yeah, we have him for Möbel. Yikes. Frosty reception. Gotta say, I kinda pictured this moment going a little differently. Tears of joy welling up in your eyes as you say the words, It's good to see you again, old friend. Der war doch auch in, war der nicht auch in Ding, Alter, in dieser Unterwelt Ding? Don't be ridiculous! Sounds like you've been reading too many romance novels! There we have it. Change is inevitable and nothing lasts forever. What a pity. Well then, time for you to meet the new me. This time, please call me Sanka. Sanka! Aha! So you're a glasses guy! You tricked Huni and Toba into telling you a bunch of stories! Is this an echter name? What does it matter? A name is a superficial label. It's what's deep down inside that counts. And I've shown you the deepest parts of me. 
Du meinst die masochistischen Anteile? That would explain a lot. Why else would you show up here and start acting like a wise guy? You looking for a fight? Uh, I'll pass. I do rather like you, as I've said before. But my one quibble is that you really don't know your own strength. Was suchst du dann hier? Wait, of course. You're the one behind all the recent abyss activity. Let Paimon guess. You've been provoking the Mountain King too. Haven't I told you before? I'm not part of the inner circle who do our Highness's bidding. My interests are far more low stakes. I spend my time digging for truth in ancient doodads and books. You really think a bench warmer like me is capable of more than that? I investigated him. He's not connected to the recent events. Just happens to be in the area. So I struck a deal with him. He helps me summon a rift. I allow him to do some historical research. But that's all over. And now Kinich wants to hand me over to you. Well, I was hoping this would be an opportune moment to whisk away his body. That would have given me some more time to study the great Kahula Hao. But now I've run into you, which is just my luck. Or maybe I've incited the wrath of the Turnfire. And this is the price I have to pay. But I don't understand. What did I do wrong? Ja, wir haben das genau gelesen, Alter, was du Penner gesagt hast. Mit arbeitet sie wie Hunde. Du hast Huni und Toba übers Ohr gehauen. Wait, does that count? Hmm, let me think. How? You are the worst of the worst! Colluding with the Abyss Order against Kanich? How could you betray your partner? Uh, there is no betrayal. The Almighty Dragon Lord Kahula How is a partner to no one. Don't worry, I told him to act as bait. Yes, and you should have picked a bigger fish. The Abyss Order? Ha! What a joke. Not even a match for our lowly servant. I put up with this toad's croaking for days, and it was all for nothing! It looks like your disciplinary measures have been less than effective, Mr. Enjo. <laughs> uh, what did you expect? Behavioral rehab isn't really our thing. Otherwise, we might as well change our name from the Abyss Order to the Abyss Boarding School. <laughs> Boarding School Abyss, or what's this new anime? The Abysmal Disorder would suit you better. Uh, Kanish, dispose of him. He is of no further use to us. Traveler? Nur zu den Orden des Abgrunds ist deine Bedrohung für uns alle. Äh, lass ihn gegen, er wird eh nichts zu viel bringen im Orden des Abgrunds. You see, this is why I like you. Still, you shouldn't underestimate me just because I'm a lowly clerk. Ja, aber ich find's immer wieder lustig, wenn wir auf dich treffen. I could never beat you in a straight up fight. But when it comes to running away, I won't lose to anyone. Äh, sollte man das gut finden? Do me a favor. And remember how fast I disappear. Maybe then you'll show me a little respect next time. Darn! He got away again! Couldn't you have stopped him? It's all right. He's not worth our time and energy. Besides, it seems like he's in debt to a lot of people. I'm sure they'll keep him busy. <sighs> if you say so. Still, Paimon's kind of surprised that you actually struck a deal with someone from the Abyss Order. To borrow that guy's words, names are superficial labels. Whether you call it the Abyss Order or anything else, it's a broad generalization at best. Think of it like apples that have fallen from a tree. If you tasted each one, you'd find that they're all at different stages of ripening. Even the unripe fruit blown off its branch before it's fully grown can still be brewed into a fine wine. Everything has its use. Huh. Well, in that specific sense, maybe Enjo's not such a bad apple. Not rotten to the core, at least. Of course! Only the almighty dragon lord, Kahula How, is rotten to the core and evil beyond redemption. God, halt die Fresse. Ugh. So what exactly are you anyway? You're definitely the evilest little thing Paimon's ever met. Don't worry. He can't hurt a fly. Weil ihr einen Vertrag geschlossen habt? Mm, you could say that. Uh, Paimon heard that those kinds of contracts might come with a terrible cost attached. Is that true? Such as 
A howl watching me like a ravenous vulture? Vulture? Vulture! Oh, we are the Dragon Supreme! Sovereign ruler of the Nation of Flame! What? Let's pick this up another time. It's getting kind of late. You should go back and get some rest. Big day ahead. Tomorrow's Turnfire Night. Time to light the sacred flame and burn away the filth for a legendary 500-year-old warrior. Oh, yeah. Hearing you lay it out like that is making Paimon a little nervous. For all the work we've put in, it all comes down to tomorrow night. We have to make sure we solve this problem once and for all. Then it can't hurt to say this one more time. Good luck to us both. Viel Glück für uns beide. See you tomorrow. Ja gut, jetzt sind wir ja scheinbar eh schon relativ am Ende, dann können wir das auch gleich ganz machen. Äh, gehen wir dahin. Was in der Stadt selber kein Porter ist. Wann streamst du immer so? Also, sagen wir mal, der Hauptstream ist immer samstags, 19.30 Uhr, 20 Uhr. Da spiele ich meistens Genshin. In letzter Zeit spiele ich aber öfter mal spontan was. Was auch meistens 8 Uhr ist. Also momentan versuche ich ein bisschen Freitag, Samstag, Sonntag zu streamen. Aber wie gesagt, Freitag und Sonntag ist dann eher spontan. Aber normalerweise auch abends, 20 Uhr. Da spielen wir dann immer irgendwas anderes, was hier, worauf ich gerade Bock habe. Unter der Woche kommt es auf Arbeiten drauf an. Wenn die Spätschicht hat, unter der Woche gar nicht. Aber wie gesagt, ich versuche in letzter Zeit ein bisschen öfter mal spontan zu streamen. Also abends 20 Uhr dann meistens so. Oder wie gesagt, dann halt Samstag der Genshin-Stream. Oder Honkai Star Rail, je nachdem, worauf ich gerade Bock habe. Aber meistens Genshin. Das sind so die Streaming-Zeiten. Also gut. Wie lange müssen wir warten? Wird er 8 Uhr? Ja, 18 Uhr. Ach stimmt, es ist ja abends. Mach mal die Genshin Spätschicht. Vor allem, ich versuche in letzter Zeit vor allem so kleinere Spiele oder Simulat Simulatoren oder so ein Zeug abends zu spielen. Ist auch ganz entspannt. Yes. 